Hello and welcome to 3dparadise.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a glowing material with using mental ray. And you can use this as eyes on your robot or the energy core uh, bracelets. <laughs> you get the idea yourself. But it looks really good and it's easy to do. So let's start by making a plane which will cover the ground of our scene like that. Then we will create a sphere that will be our glowing thing. We're gonna move it a little up like that. And let's select something. Uh what shall we choose? Teapot. Like that. Big teapot. Then we'll create a light and I'm it's not really needed, but if you see you need a light, so I'll create another light like that and move it up just like there. And I'm just gonna put on some shadows. Whoop. This is going really good. <laughs> there it is. And I'm gonna use ray traced. And that is not needed either. But I just like to have it. <laughs> and I'm gonna lower the light like that. Now we're gonna go into our material editor. So I'm gonna go there by pressing M like that. And we're gonna start by making some kind of dark asphalt looking material down here. So I'm gonna choose a dark grey. And I just click the color box here. And I'm gonna choose the none button here. And in here I'm gonna choose a noise map. And in the noise map I'm gonna lower the size of the noise. I'm gonna make it pretty low, like one perhaps. And I'm gonna choose turbulence. Yeah. Then I'm gonna drag this to our plane and just do a quick test render. See, it looks kind of like asphalt, but it's fine. I'm just gonna rotate this. I don't want this to be right there like this. And then we're gonna create the material for our little sphere here. And um, we're gonna make it glow. Click the standard button here like that and choose the architectural and double click it in here I'm gonna increase the luminance and I'm gonna increase it to 10,000 you can play around with the setting in your scene to get just right and I'm gonna change the color as well to some light blue a lighter And then it's glowing. I'm gonna drag that to this. I'm gonna select the teapot here and just give it basic material. And let's do a quick test render. And you can see my sphere is now lighting the scene. And then um, you can increase the samples here and get a little bit of quality also takes a bit more time to render but it's worth it at least in a good scene and that's basically it um, and well then when you change want to change the color or anything it's just click it change the color choose something else maybe a, like oranges orange is <laughs> and it's gonna glow orange but I play around with the settings and uh, make some good stuff with it it looks really good but uh, thank you for watching at 3dparadise.com